welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about some new character designs for Pixar's Luca that were kind of released under the radar. For those of you who don't know, Luca is Pixar's next movie after Soul, which is due to be released on June 18th, 2021. If you want some background info, I have created a video all about it and the link is right up here. But for everyone else, let's get into it. Last Friday, Disney Plus released a five episode series called Inside Pixar. One episode focused on a character art director called Diana Marcielse. She has worked extensively on Luca and even took a trip to Italy for inspiration. During the episode, we get a glimpse at some of her character designs. We see a design for the main character Luca that looks closer to the final CG version compared to the initial concept art. He has black hair, blue shorts and a white top and he looks very similar to the main character in La Luna which Enrico Casarosa also directed. The most intriguing design however is of Luca in his sea monster form. He is coloured green and blue, has orange and yellow eyes and pointy teeth. He also has fins at the bottom of his face and his normally black hair has been replaced by bluish green scales. Additionally, his body resembles that of a seahorse with fins on his back and a tail. I am very happy that Luca is a cute sea monster instead of a scary one, but the concept still seems weird to me. I really don't think I'm into it yet, I'm going to have to see a trailer. We also see two other sea monster character designs. Firstly, there is a purple sea monster that has a similar appearance to Luca. He has the same general body shape but has different hair. I can't help but notice that his hair looks very similar to Luca's friend in the initial concept art. At first I thought his friend might be transformed into a sea monster, but considering this character has bags under his eyes, I think he is older and therefore a separate person. Secondly, we see half a character picture of a sea monster that looks similar to a frog. This character could possibly be a villain as he looks quite different to the standard sea monster design. Finally, we get two pictures of two stereotypical Italian nonnas with headscarves. One is short and fat and the other is tall and thin, which is a fairly standard comedy duo combination. They could possibly be the family of Luca's best friend, but we don't really know. Anyway, let me know what you think of the character designs in the comments down below. Keep in mind that these designs may change as the film goes through development, so don't get too attached. I have a couple of extra things that I want to share about Luca, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Bye now and have a magical day.